Okay, so I am just sick as a dog. But, <coughs> like that, everybody needs all the shit they need. So what we're going to do is, <laughs> sorry, uh, we're going to do water changes for everybody today. Uh, and we're going to do a little special because we're going to do it quick. Because uh, I don't, I don't really want to do it. And somehow I got to go to the store and get shrimp. Because uh, this guy's hungry. Look how hungry he is. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. So that's going on. So, yeah, I got to clean the garage. Uh, so, <laughs> that's obvious. But don't hate on me for that. It's just a garage. Anyway, water changes. Here we go. Man, what's going on, everybody? I'm uh, haven't done a video in a while. It's busy, super duper busy adult life, you know. It sucks. So, wanted to do a quick update on the fish room. Just getting over a little cold, so uh, you'll have to apologize. I have to apologize for the tones I'm probably making. But uh, anyway, I want to start up here with the dove. I redid this tank. I took that wood out, uh, which was great. Uh, you know, it just was not, it was putting off too much and having it poke out of the top was not helping, so. Uh, I went with the classic pot. Um, got something nice and big, it's no problem um, for this tank. And, and I really like it, just clean, you know, it's nothing to show off. It's not like, oh, cool, look at my pot, you know. <laughs> but whatever, it's still it's still nice and clean look, whatever. Uh, Tank's doing real good. Filters, I got it. Still working on this filter in the back. It, it's all right, um, but I, I can see I see some faults in it that I want to try and uh, work on, or just add more filtration. You know, I don't know. Maybe I've just maxed this thing out, and this is what it's going to do. Um, uh, but no, nothing sick. Everybody's nice and healthy, but I just I think I can get it cleaner. Um, so anyway, this is Dovi, and he's shy. I don't, I don't know, man. He's still coming into himself and trying to find confidence. He doesn't run. I mean, he pretty much just holds when I feed him, but I do have to step away before he takes at the food. Um, and that's really it. The Paracroma Stovi um, holding. He's just by himself in this 125, and he's not a big guy right now. He's maybe, I don't know, six, seven inches. Seven inches. But pretty, pretty good fish so far. Fun to watch. I mean, he's got a little color to him so far, and uh, right now, and it, it'll get better. See if I can get up on over that. I'm getting skeered. Cause he gets so skeered. There, see, see, you see what I'm talking about there. Once you get close, I don't know if that's just little bubbles or stuff. I think it's stuff. And stuff should be filtered. Yeah, he's such a, a chicken boy. The big old chicken boy. <laughs> Might give him another thing or two to hide behind up here. I don't know. He's not doing bad. He's just shy. He's got to come into his own. He got the whole tank. Might as well be brave. I was thinking about buying him. Uh, a little fish and just keeping it with the rainbows to clean it out and then uh, maybe feeding it to him. I know that's definitely part of his nature is to ch chase and eat uh, little fish, so I figured not, why not why not stoke him out? See if it does, see if that helps him get a little uh, a little more brave in his own tank. Uh, so that's Delvi. And he's doing good. Haven't named him. Going down here and hang out with these guys for a second. I'm growing increasingly uh, 
a sicko looking that pipe in the corner. But, um, you know, I can't really paint it because when you paint it, the plecos will chew off the paint unless I do something to it that I don't know about. But whatever I do, they're going to chew on. So, that's just the truth about that as far as I understand. If anybody's got any any uh, thoughts uh, for that, feel free to throw them out uh, or at me. Uh, but that's good the way it's got to be right now because I'm not going to drill into this tank. And uh, <laughs> I'm just not going to drill into this tank, so there you go. Anyway, so uh, stashed up in here, we got a whole bunch of plecos. I got some uh, two uh, Symphysillum uh, Vieja. Um, and they are stashed in the corner, ready to go to sleep. And, uh, oh no, no, just the big one. There's a little guy. Or a little girl. Don't know. Got uh, a bunch of clown lunches cruising around in here. And they're doing good. Fun little fish. I scored these fish to do a trade in. And, uh, scored. It's got a bunch of these little guys. So, so they cruise around, they stash, they fight the current and play in that and surf around the tank. They have a lot of fun. And it's always fun to watch them. Clown lunches are cool. Everybody's shy. You can tell I'm not spilling, I'm not spending a whole heck of a lot of time in the fish room. This work is driving me nuts. And this tank, too, is killing me with this pleco shit. That's always the thing that bothers me, you know what? It's funny. Pleco shit really is the thing that bothers me the most. You know, an excess of pleco shit. I don't, you know, there's just no way for me to get it all, all the time the way I want it. What are these two doing over here? Here's some behavior. So I know that about myself, but you know I keep buying plecos. Like an idiot. See big guys shy. Did you get kicked out of the house there, my dear? Is that what happened? Let me take some distance so I can zoom in. Allow you two to do whatever you're doing. Come on now. There it is. A little domestics. really dig on these fish. I'm trying to get a hold of some uh, Argentea, the Argentinian Vieja, but you know it's just not happening right now. And I, I'm a patient man. It'll happen. But I'd love to get that done because I'd love to throw another another large tank like a, like a 125 or even get something bigger because quite frankly this dovi is going to require something bigger at some point. I was going to do a pond in the backyard, but the permitting process through the community association is like it's, it makes it it makes it, it it behooves me to wait till I can build a really good pond. Since I got to spend that much money to get them to say that it's okay for me to work in my own in my own fucking yard. So these two are getting along. This is a really well-behaved fish. I know they say that a lot of these, uh, the viejas, these fish can get really territorial, and I'm sure that that's true. But I really lucked out with this one, uh, who's always just been a real mediator in the tank. <clears throat> um, comes to everybody's aid. Super cool fish. Uh, yeah, that's vieja. So yeah, pleco shit bugs me. And people say, well, what do you, what do, you do about it? Well, you know, I got this filtered uh, fairly well uh, with a trickle filter uh, in the back. Uh, Multi-stage trickle filter in the back. The also have a uh, water pump in the back corner there that you can't see, but uh, it has dug that huge hole in the back with current. Um, so pretty much, you know, it does a pretty good job, job sweeping it all the way around. But it's only around little textures, you see, like here, where I get this rock and these things that'll break the currents, where it really gets in there. But, you know, I'm, I am fairly busy and uh, can't always just get in there to hit those corners like that. So it's always a, something I'm going to deal with. I want to get off this tank right now.
they're doing good. Plecos, as always, are nice and hidden, but that's okay. <clears throat> With the plecos, sometimes you just, once you get to know them, you're like, well, if you know, if you don't see a corpse, you know you're pretty good. Might as well do some purple time since we got the camera on, 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 on. What's up, my brother? What purple scoops? What's up, buddy? He's fed. He's doing all right. Ran out of uh, I ran out of safe, which I'm not too happy about. I gotta get an order in and get that going. I'm using uh, some what is it? Oh, the Tetra, that Tetra product, their uh, water conditioner. But right now, which I'm just not, I don't, just not at all happy with it. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, Yeah, easy buddy. Purple's still doing real good. Stress that fish is rock solid. Pretty stoked on this fish. I'm excited to see where he goes, how he continues. Oh, look at them teeth. You sucking sucker. Let's get those teeth in there, purple derps. Come on, show the people the teeth, buddy. They want to see that stuff. Purple's alright. 